Well, I think I want to see if I can place this in here now. I'm a little concerned that there may be a fleck of glue or a couple spots of glue on the portion of the filter that's in the aperture. We'll have to see how that works out. I find that very tricky to try and get the glue to get the, the filter placed on the dots of glue without getting it um, smeared on the filter itself. certainly feels like it's placed in here in a way that it's not likely to to jiggle around or or, or move based on the kind of uh, motion that the, the platform will likely experience in the air, although I guess it could be more severe than I'm thinking. like to make sure that it's seated as well as I can have it be seated, but I may be overthinking it. Looks like I may have it to the point where it's possible to button it up and test it. look like that. Seems to be well we'll see what it looks like when we get it put together and put a lens in it circumstances where I feel like with awfully fat fingers. My father-in-law, Bill Scott, was a watchmaker, so he would have probably chuckled at watching me fiddle around with these giant, enormous screws relative to what he worked with. to this technique last time. Okay, so for that setup in there we can it'll just be remain to be seen whether the smaller orifice aperture and the uh, my concern about these little glue specks is going to be a problem or not. For now, I think we'll just select. Um, I think I'll go ahead and get the larger 16 millimeter zoom lens in there. Get it started anyway. And then we'll do the focus connected to with the AV cables out and use the monitor or the TV here to all these matters it just seems like fat fingers are is my usual lament there we go that together loosely enough to power it up because we'll have to change the set screw as we adjust it. 